Let's break down some common software failure modes in braking system and how to fix them. As an example, let's say there is brake ECU, which receives brake pedal sensor input from the driver as an analog signal and vehicle speed information, along with other external inputs, from another ECU via CAN, which in turn outputs brake torque request and brake module status to other ECUs over CAN. One of the failure modes is sensor malfunction. This happens when the software receives incorrect or faulty data from sensors, like wheel speed or pressure sensors, causing the system to send incorrect brake torque request. To mitigate sensor failure, a redundant sensor can be added to fall back on in case the primary sensor fails. On top of that, plausibility check can be added, which reads data from both the sensors and compare against each other and sets a fault if the difference between the two increases by a safe threshold. Also, regular calibration of sensors and rigorous software testing is needed to ensure data integrity. Second, algorithm errors. A bug in the braking control algorithm can lead to improper braking responses, like delayed or excessive braking. To mitigate software errors, algorithm redundancy can be implemented to cross-check results so that if one algorithm fails, the system can use another to ensure safe operation. On top of that, algorithms can be designed with fail-safe mechanisms that automatically switch the system to a safe state in case of an error. In the event of a fault, the system should degrade gracefully, maintaining partial functionality instead of complete failure. Also, thorough validation and simulation of braking algorithms is needed to detect bugs before real-world use. Third, communication failure. If the software in the ECU, electronic control unit, detects communication failure with other external ECUs, it can result in delayed or invalid brake torque requests. In this example, it could be incorrect or delayed vehicle speed information over CAN or any other external input used in the computation of brake torque request, which could result in incorrect or delayed response. To mitigate communication failure, robust communication protocols like CRC, cyclic redundancy check, MC, message counter, parity bit, timeout check, can be applied and verified on the receiver side. Lastly, outdated software. Outdated or unpatched software can have vulnerabilities, leading to unexpected issues in the braking system. To mitigate this, push regular software updates to ensure the system is running the latest patches and fixes. By addressing these failure modes with proper testing and regular updates, we can keep braking systems safe and reliable.